I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my life. I love you, Lord. I honor you, Lord. Yes, I do. I honor you, Lord. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my life. I honor you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Oh, yes. I trust you, Lord. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my life. I trust you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Oh, yes, I do. I love you, Lord. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my life. I love you, Lord. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my life. I love you, Lord. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my life. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. God gave me that song this morning as I was before him. He loves us so much. He loves us so much. And there's so many things that he wants to do through you. So many things. Things that you thought you couldn't do. Let him and he'll do it through you. Let him have his way. And he'll do it through you. Those very things that you thought that you couldn't do. We serve an awesome God. Awesome. Let's see what our scripture says for today. This is Romans, the 8th chapter, the 28th verse. This is the New Living Translation. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Again, this is Romans, the 8th chapter, the 28th verse, New Living Translation. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Let's look at another translation. Let's look at the Amplified. The Amplified translation says, And we know with great confidence that God, who is deeply Concern about us causes all things to work together as a plan for good for those who love God to those who are called according to his plan and purpose. So this is confidence. We can have great confidence knowing 
that we can fully, fully trust him because he is deeply concerned about us. Isn't that something? To have someone that concerned about you. Just like we're deeply concerned about our children. We are. And we can have that confidence in knowing that he's deeply concerned about us. And he causes all things to work together as a plan. You know, God has a plan for us. He has a plan for us. All we have to do is just follow it. Because when he made us, he made us with already a purpose in mind. So when when we tell him, no, I don't want to do that. That's not something that I like. I'm not good at that. He's already in the future, so he already knows that you are able to do it. So what we're doing all of that and, and um, crying and all of this saying that it's too hard, um, you can't do it, get somebody else. And, you know, I can just imagine him just looking at us like, I already see you can do it. I've had, um, because I've worked with children a lot, and I've had children that would be um, on the, like the monkey bars, and they're just holding on, and their feet are so close to the ground, but they don't know it. So I'm trying to tell them, just let go. Just turn it loose, let go. And they're holding on for dear life. And they're like hollering and stuff. I'm like, just let go. You're close to the ground. Let go. I mean, they're, they're like really, really close to the ground. I mean, if they like stretched their foot down and <laughs> pointing their toes, they probably could have touched the ground. But they don't understand that they're that close. And what I normally do is I just stand there right by them and try to coach them to have them to turn them loose. And then when they turn them loose and they hit the ground, and then they, they'll go back and they'll do it again because <laughs> they see that it wasn't, they wasn't up that far. And some of them, I do have to coach them again, you know, to let them know that you, you did it before. You're right there close to the ground. You know, helping them get through it. So I can see God doing this like this. Like, you're almost there. You know, you're right there. You can do this. You can do it. And we are saying, no, no, I can't. I can't. But we really can. Because he sees that we can already. So like I said, um, he has a plan. He has a plan, and it's for good for those who love him. For those who love him, it's for the good. And we have to trust him. We have to trust him, just like the song that he gave me this morning, saying that I trust him. We have to trust him and knowing that it is for the good. It's for the good. And our trust has to be in him. We trust the doctor when we go there. We trust that doctor to, to say what they're supposed to say to make help us to get better. Or doing that surgery. We put more trust in them than we do in God. So what we need to be praying, Lord, you got the doctor's hands in doing this. You know, you give him wisdom with my body that you created. We have to do that and not put so much trust in man. It says, uh, for the good, for those who love God, to those who are called according to his plan and purpose. 
And he, ha- he has a very good plan and purpose for us. He does. We might think that our plan is good. But he has the best plan for us. And we just have to surrender. Just surrender to him. Knowing that he loves us. He's going to take care of us. And we just do it. Just do it. We're not doing it on our own. We're not doing it on our own. Yeah, he left the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here. To be our God, our helper, our comforter. I mean, he's everything that we need. So we we don't have to be afraid. But just as George Meyer say, do it afraid. Do it afraid. Just like with those children that I told you about. That were hanging from the monkey bar. They had to do it afraid. And then once they saw that everything was okay. And they were able to do it. They were able to do that. And I'm right there watching them. Making sure that they're okay. That's how God does. But he does a better, far better job than I can. So we just have to know it is for our good. And you know, our life is not just for us. It's for somebody else. So as we go through something, we can tell somebody else that, you know, I went through this. You know? then you're going to be okay. We can help somebody else. So our struggles, they can come out like a beautiful butterfly. It's that butterfly. It's that, that caterpillar struggles inside there. Man, when he comes out, a beautiful butterfly. So that's us. That's us. Just give in. Give in to what God wants to do. He knows what's best for us. He really does. He knows what's best. He has some wonderful things in store. Just trust him. You know, I... I I never know what I'm going to say on these videos. I never know. I just have to trust him. I have to trust him. I always ask him that as I open my mouth, may he feel it. Because I don't know what you need. Only he knows. Only he knows what you need. And he'll help me to recall certain things that happened in my life. He'll help me, the Holy Spirit, to bring that back to my remembrance. And I'm able to deliver it to you. To help you understand. You know, God does some awesome things. Awesome things. That's why it's good to um, look back and remember what he has done. And you know that if he did it that time, he a God of doing it again and again and again and again. So our trust can be in him. He'll never let you down. Never let you down. I know we've had people in our life that has let us down. But he's not like that. We've had people that would tell us one thing and next thing you know, they're just not there no more. Or they, you know, they're lying or something. God isn't like that. He's not like that. He's with you. He's with you. And he's going to stay with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. His word says so. We can turn our back on him. 
we can definitely turn our back on him. But he won't leave you. He will not. So I hope this gives you the confidence in doing whatever you need to do today. Knowing that he is right there. He's right there. Just follow his lead. Follow his lead and everything will be okay. And sometimes when we follow his lead and we we thinking that, God, I thought you told me to do this. And it's like things are just topsy-turvy. It really isn't. It really isn't. Just wait until the end. Wait until the end. God will prove himself. He will prove himself. All we have to do is believe. Our job is to hear from the Holy Spirit. Move as he is directing us to. Just believe. You know, the only way that you would know what God is saying to you is that you have to know his voice. And knowing his voice is spending time with him. Listening. Um, digging into his word. Understanding his word for yourself. I can remember um, where I, when I used to just I um, always felt like I didn't have time to get into the Word, so I would um, listen to it. I would listen to the Word. And I can remember saying something that was that was completely wrong, saying that the Bible said something. And when I went back and I actually read it and I saw that is not what the Bible was saying. You know, we listen to it and we just think that that it was saying this, but it really wasn't. And I mean, I listened to that over and over again. And it wasn't what the Bible was saying. So I had to see it in print to see what the Bible was saying. I mean, I had the story completely wrong. I know one time I had said something to someone that, you know, I listened to the Bible. And it was like, the devil is a liar. And I'm like, what's wrong with her? I was like, what is wrong with her? I don't even remember the next words she said. Because when she said that, it threw me, it just threw me off. I'm like, what is she talking about? So I didn't understand. I really didn't until later. You know, we have to be careful what we say to people. Because we can really um, mess someone up. We really can. We really can mess someone up. So we have to be very careful. Because her saying that, I didn't know what she was talking about. You know, I knew that she was saying that something was wrong with me listening to the Bible. But I still wasn't understanding what she was saying. Because like I said, I, I can tell you the rest of the words she said. Because after she said, the devil is a liar. I'm like, what? I can't even tell you the rest of the words she said. Because a block was up. My mind was so busy on her saying that. Just totally catching me off of guard with that. I, I don't know what else she said. But later on, God let me know that, you know, through that story, that Bible story, that the way I thought I heard it. And when I went back and read it, and I saw that it was something else. So, um, you know, God doesn't just cut us down. He doesn't cut us down like that. When, when God says something to us, even if it's a rebuke, it's going to lift us up. It will lift us up. You know, I I, um, I had to sing at one of our other churches. And 
Um, but when I sung at, at the church that I go to, you know, everyone was clapping and they was just praising God. But see, I'm thinking the praise is for me. Oh, she did a good job. And um, that's in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. And then when I had to sing somewhere else, I forgot the chorus to that same song I had sung. And I had practiced it just minutes earlier. But when I got ready to sing in front of the people, I forgot the chorus of the song. And later, later on, God let me know that he let me do it on my own. And I, you know, and I, I learned from that. I never want to do anything on my own again. I, I never want to take God's glory. Never want to take his glory. Because that's what I did that day. You know, just knowing that the um, the praise was for me. No, it was for God. So I never, never want to take his glory. So if I find myself going in that direction, <laughs> I stop quickly. Because I never want to do it on my own again. So when I remember that, I don't get sad. It was a rebuke. It was a rebuke and it was a it was a hard lesson being in front of those people and forgetting the chorus and they're just staring at me. <laughs> it wasn't the time that I want to go back through. But it wasn't I mean I can laugh through it now because it wasn't like I, I can never remember where God showed me that, you know, taught me that lesson. And I was just crying, saying that I can never sing again. I didn't go through that because that's not how he did me. He just let me know, you took my glory and you are not supposed to take my glory. You know, and, I, and I, at first I was like, God, it wasn't nothing but a few seconds, you know. <laughs> because that's what I was thinking. It was only a few seconds. What? <laughs> What's the problem? And he let me know that um, if I would have gotten away with those few seconds, as he would have had me to do more, then I wouldn't have been able to withstand. Because I would have just, every time I did something, I would have just assumed that people would say, oh, she did a good job, you know. And um, the the praise and everything, I would think that it was for me and it was for God. So when God shows us something, when he rebukes us, it's for our learning. It's not to cut us down. It's not to cut us down. So, you know, God just, he just loves us so much and he, he doesn't want us to live a life defeated. He doesn't want us to be defeated. He wants us to move to the next place. So we go from glory to glory, faith to faith. So he, he wants us to be able to go forward, to move forward. You know, we are so much in the habit of thinking that God is man. God is not man. He's God. And we're so used to how people treat us and we think that God does the same. But he doesn't. So when a person gets on us about something in the way that they talk to us, we think, that God does the same thing. And he really doesn't. He doesn't do that. He's God. He's far above that. You know, men, men don't know how to express themselves when they're angry. They express themselves in a way that, that the way that they're talking to us, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it like that. You um, cussing or 
you're saying the words really harsh to me. I'm not going to get it like that. Because you are provoking me. And I'm not going to learn like that. But see, God isn't like that. You know, God isn't like that. You know, God's word tells the fathers don't provoke. Don't provoke their sons. Don't provoke, you know, children. You know, we don't want to provoke our children. Because it makes them do things out of anger. And a person that provokes you makes you want to do something out of anger. But God isn't like that. He's not going to provoke us. He's not going to provoke us. He's just going to love us. He's going to love us through whatever it is, through whether it's a bad habit that we're trying to break, that we keep falling into over and over again. If it's a sin that we're having problems dealing with, he's going to love us through it. He's going to love us through it. Even if we get caught in our sin, we already know that God has already been telling us not to do it. So after a while, it was exposed. But even through that, he loves us. He loves us through it. God's love is not like man's love. We have to just remember that man is a human. He's man, but God is God. I'm glad that you could join me for these 30 minutes. And I'm going to pray the Salvation's Prayer with you. If you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart before, now is the time and don't put it off. Tomorrow isn't promised to you, so don't put it off. All you have to do is repeat after me and mean it from your heart. Jesus, come into my heart. I know that I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Forgive me for my sins. I know that you came. You died. You was resurrected just for me, just because you love me. You did all of that on Calvary. Thank you for your love. Now I can spend eternity in heaven with you and the Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So now that you are Christian, yes, yay! good for you. Good for you. You made the best decision that you could ever make in your life. The best decision. Now, I'm your sister. I'm your sister now. You make it a good day. And spend time spend time with your Heavenly Father talking with Him and letting Him talk to you. Spend time in the Word. You make it a good day. And I'll see you again tomorrow. I pray for you every waking hour. Remember that. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.